Howdy y'all, welcome to Sam's Whiskey Bar. I am Mr. Sam and I have six Blue Note samples from Blue Note. Usually when you do a single barrel pick, you get three samples to choose from. Not with Blue Note. I got three rye and three bourbons. Stick around and see which one I like. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around, guys. So this is kind of a process of going through a single barrel pick. Um, usually it'll come in a box with three samples. Um, looks like this. However, in this situation, they gave us rise. I think there's three rise. I got them labeled one through six. They were already labeled one through four because Roy at Egbert Liquor here in Hutchison, Kansas has already gone through, picked out his favorite four, gave them to me to go through and verify or tell him what I like. Now he can still order whatever the hell he wants. He's the store owner, but I appreciate Roy that you appreciate and trust my palate. Thank you very much for letting me do this. Six and a half hours later. Okay. Brass tacks. Top three. Top three, baby. Yeah, I probably should have had dinner before I did this. All right, here's where rubber meets the road. Let's move this third place glass out of this video. I don't even remember. This was my number two on the nose. I remember that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I could smell this all day. They should make a scratch and sniff sticker out of this bad boy right here. Oh my goodness, it's a rye, but a sweet confectionery sugar rye without mint, but you know it's a rye. It's a one note rye. The first taste was the same as the middle of the palate, which was the same as the back end, which is the same as the finish. I mean, it's just, all good, don't get me wrong, but it's... And if that's your thing, maybe number three. Roy's number three. My number three. Hey, Roy. <laughs> I think we're going to be wrong on one and two, though, bud. Blue Note Rye, 113.9. Comes down to it, and I... I typically can tell the difference between a bourbon and a rye, and I know Roy picked the bourbon as his number one, and I'm quite sure I picked the rye at number one. So, Roy, I'm sorry I might disagree with you on this one. If I was to buy one of the two barrels, I, I am so confident to say that I think I would pick the rye because I'm quite sure I did. I hope I'm wrong. No, I don't. I hope I'm right. But if I'm, I am wrong, humble pie coming my way. I think this is Roy's number one from Egbert Liquor in Hutchinson, Kansas. Yep. That is a high rye bourbon that is better than the other two bourbons, but not great. Not great. It's a good bourbon. I think he judged it on the finish because it's still finishing. Great nose. I think this was third in my nosing. Fucking great nose. Kind of wish I wouldn't have drank it all right there. I got a little sip. I would bet a large sum of money that that is a bourbon and Roy's number one. That is Mr. Roy's number one, a bourbon coming in at 118.2 proof from Blue Note, uncut. I'm sorry, Roy, we don't agree. 
However, I think that the rye that I picked as one was your number two. I know it's a rye now that I saw that one. This is his second pick. It was a rye. I am happy with my choice. This is an absolute banger. This Blue Note rye is my number one by a large step from Roy's number one. A large step. I would say that this rye right here, if I had the opportunity to buy this barrel and I had the means to do so, I might buy this barrel and keep it for myself because this sucker is good. It beat a freaking bourbon, y'all. Wow. Oh my goodness. I, I, maybe I'm a rye guy. Maybe I'm a rye guy. Gosh dang it, I'm a rye guy. Oh, the blue note store picks in. I'll be right there. Stella, I'll be right back. I got something important to do. Oh, shit, let's go get a store pick. I'll be right there, Roy. I'll be right there. If you're ever in Hutchinson, Kansas, Egbert Liquor, y'all, this is my premier store, and it's my premier store for a reason. Not just because I can film. Morning, Tracy. Good morning. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is a spicy sweet bugger right here. 119.6, it should be. 119.6. Ooh, baby. Gotta love this store, man. Hutchison, Kansas, Egbert Liquor. Let's go get Roy. Employees only. Roy's loading somebody up. You need help loading anything up, Roy? Hey. How are you doing? How are you doing, pretty doggy? He's got his uh, Odell. We went to the Odell Brewery last couple weekends ago. Man, the the life the life of a liquor store owner. Well, sometimes, proprietor. sometimes it works out well for you. <laughs> it, it works out well for me. Yes, yes. Thanks like to this guy right here. Come to Egbert Liquor in Hutchinson, Kansas. I tell you all the time, you ain't gonna miss. You no, ain't gonna miss. we'll take good care of you. We got good bourbon. And we got some, we got a lot of good stuff here. We got some great bourbons here. And the pallets that pick the single barrels that you guys, that you constantly have, your pallet, Danny's pallet. Your pallet. Okay, thank you. I was going to say it. Yeah. We all, we, we all get a, well, that's why I like picking with, with the people that shop here and yeah. the people that get a drink it because you guys kind of get your pallets together and we all kind of get on the same page. Yeah. Appreciate it. Fuck yeah. Thank yeah, you, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I don't know how many I'm going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, They're so drink. freaking good, I mean, dude. They're drinks. so freaking good. Come on, G. Come on. What are you doing, Goliath? Is that your spot? Are you sleeping? <laughs> Hell yeah. Three of them? Three of those, yes, ma'am. Ring me up. 21924. I'm excited about that, Russell's, too. That's cool. I'll just take that off for you. Is that the 15? Maybe. Oh. No, I wish it was the 15, especially for that price. Yeah, no shit. Roy said he drank a 15 the other night. It was really, really it good. It is up for whiskey of the year. <laughs> Got my Blue Note store pick in. Just went and picked it up from Mr. Roy. Thank you, Mr. Roy. And the rest of you guys, man, if you like a spicy, sweet note with just an amazing mouthfeel where the sweet doesn't go away, 
you're going to like this Blue Note rye coming in at 119.6. They're selling them for $49.99, so a $50 bottle that is just a wonderful $50 bottle. So go down to Egbert Liquor in Hutchison, Kansas, and pick one of these up. And look at their other store picks, too, because they are all hitters. There's a Knob Creek there that is very special to me. I helped pick for Bob Davis. You might see in our Poor Choices videos that we have a, in memory, Bob Davis, 76 to 24. That store pick is still there and available as well. So thank you, Egbert Liquor. Thank you, Tracy, and all the people at Egbert, especially you, Roy. Love you, man. Catch me next time.